clear there are some very positive trends that emerged uh, in 2022, but I'm not here to celebrate. Talk to the families, see what we have to say, hear us. The city of Milwaukee releasing crime statistics for 2022, but the numbers only tell part of the story. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jessup Reisbeck. And I'm Natalie Shepard. The crime numbers for Milwaukee include some positive news, but as our team coverage will show, those trends are little comfort to families dealing with a rising homicide rate. Our team coverage tonight includes a mother who grieves her son. But first, CBS 58's Victor Jacobo brings us some of the hard numbers for 2022 and how city leaders are seeing them. Overall, violent crime was down in Milwaukee in 2022, despite a record year in homicides. City leaders said today they hope to keep positive trends going while reversing troubling ones. I'm pleased to report, overall, violent crime within the city is down 7%. MPD Chief Jeffrey Norman, Milwaukee Mayor Cavalier Johnson, and Office of Violence Prevention Director Ashanti Hamilton touted drops in violence and several other categories of crime. The most significant double-digit drops were in robbery, burglary, theft, and auto theft. Total Part 1 crime, which includes offenses like homicide, rape, aggravated assault, and human trafficking, is down 15% in 2022. We're hopeful that Part 1 crime will continue on a downward trajectory in 2023 but we know what we will work best when we work together to keep this community safe. But despite the progress in other crime categories, 2022 marked another record year in homicides, continuing a trend in recent years, resulting in an 11% jump. Officials point to the crisis around guns, poor handling of interpersonal conflicts, and domestic violence as causes for the increase. We're not simply reacting uh, to homicides in Milwaukee. In addition to enforcement and intervention, we're also working uh, on long-term strategies to address the situation uh, in the city as well. Mayor Johnson hopes combined efforts from his office, MPD, and OVP can bring homicide down in 2023. It's violence prevention. It's actual enforcement for people who break the law. And you know, I have said time and again, and I am dead serious about this, when people cause death, harm, and destruction in Milwaukee, there's a price to pay. Another positive area Milwaukee police highlighted was a drop in reckless driving numbers across the city. They hope to keep strategies they implemented in 2022 going to further bring those numbers down. Reporting outside MPD headquarters in Milwaukee, Victor Jacobo, CBS 58.